Hey there guys, welcome to another review. Today I'll be reviewing an add-on for Firefox and also Google Chrome which is known as the Web of Trust. Now it's a free security add-on. You can get it from the app stores of uh, Chrome and Firefox and you can just install it to block malicious websites and this is as simple as it is. Now you just get this small icon in case you're using Firefox like I am. Get this small icon and it tests the reputation of each and every site based on ratings. Now if you want to give a site a rating you can do that through this add-on and uh, it's going to be uploaded to the databases and if uh, your ratings uh, are relevant they are going to be implemented so that's how it works now it gives separate ratings based on trustworthiness vendor reliability privacy and child safety so that's how it works basically and it also blocks a lot of phishing websites and all kinds of stuff but this is not going to protect you against executable files it may block files that are drop by sites after you navigate from to them but uh, if you've got Trojan droppers and stuff this is not going to block it now this is not a full featured security solution this is just a web blocking remember that and it's not the best like if you've got uh, something like Norton or Kaspersky if you've uh, bought a security suite that provides web blocking I don't think you really need this but in case you're using something that does pretty well against files and is not that good against web threats like I'm using Komodo which is exactly uh, what I stated so in that case this can be a fairly useful add-on so let's see how good it is now I'm not gonna try executable files because I know it doesn't block them I'm just gonna try different kinds of stuff like exploits infected web pages forages and we'll see what happens there you go, that was a zero day link and it has been reported as an attack page and it has been blocked. Now these are all fresh links from Malware Blacklist. And there you go, this one's got a poor reputation so it was blocked. Uh oh, maybe not. In fact, uh, it did block the initial web page, but I don't know how it managed to redirect and drop a file. So that one indeed was missed, but it had a poor rating, so in case you're smart enough, you wouldn't uh, download the file. Okay, I'm not going to try the zip and raw files because I know it's got nothing against those. And this one also has been blocked because of uh, poor reputation. Now if you're sure, you can ignore the warning and go to the site. And uh, you can also give it your own ratings. Now as I said, this is not the best of the best. It's not going to block just about everything. It's a user based service, so but there you go, this one was blocked. And this one was blocked as well. So it does do very well against exploits and phishing websites. So in case uh, you're really worried about uh, things like these, you may actually want to give this a try. Cause, uh, there you go. This one again redirected and it was able to successfully drop a file. So it's uh, as I said, it's got its weaknesses. It's not great at preventing actual malware that can infiltrate the system. But as I said, if you're smart enough, you can just uh, use its ratings and uh, avoid malicious websites. Okay, let's try something else. Let's try this image exploit. This one's probably dead. 
as I said it's got nothing much against files there you go this one was also blocked by the reputation service so well I mean it's not uh, gonna block everything but in case you're using an antivirus that does pretty well against files and you've got your file based protection already and you want something to actually block phishing websites and untrustworthy websites which you really don't want to visit and they're not getting blocked by your antivirus this is a fairly good choice so hope you guys enjoyed this quick little review I know it didn't block too many but uh, it didn't block too less either considering that these are all zero day links so thanks for tuning in and uh, talk to you guys later